Hello and welcome to Peacock Ridge Farm. I'm so glad that you're here today. Today I am going to show you how I created this lattice wall. So here's the plan. I had the existing post already here and I created a frame using a two by four and then I have a one by three to frame it out on the front and the back. Let's get started. I transferred my measurement that I need over to my piece of lumber, measured it, marked it, and now I'm cutting it. I have my one by three board cut to length, and now we are putting it into place and attaching it with a nailer gun. We are creating a frame with two by fours creating a U-shape. Before we attach it, we pre-drill it to avoid any cracking and splitting, and then we attach it with three-inch screws. We lift our U-shaped frame up into position and make sure it is level. Then we pre-drill our two by fours before attaching it with screws. We are creating a frame on the back side of our two by fours using one by threes. We measure the length and then we attach it with our nailer gun. We continue to build this frame with our one by threes all the way around the outside of our two by four frame. The lattice panels come in an eight foot by four foot size, which is perfect for what I need here. We go ahead and just lift our panel inside our frame and attach it with our nail organ. Now that we have our lattice attached, we will create another frame on the front of the lattice using our one by threes. This frames out the lattice beautifully and just really finishes it off. My lattice wall consists of three bays. We continue the same process on the second bay, lifting in the U-shaped frame and making sure it is level before we attach it. Now that we have our frame out of our two by fours cut and attached, we build our frame out of our one by threes in the back. We need to trim the width of the lattice for this second bay. The easiest way to get a straight line is to clamp a board onto the lattice and this gives us a great guide to cut along. And now we put our lattice panel up in our frame and attach it with our nailer. We lift our second panel of lattice into our frame and attach it with our nailer. Now I measure the length that I need to start creating my one by three frame for in front of the lattice. 
Now that we have our one by threes cut, we go ahead and attach them with our nailer and finish up this panel. And now we move on to panel number three. Again, we start with our one by three that we attach to the top. We create our two by four frame yet again. We start by pre-drilling and then attaching with our screws. And now we lift our two by four frame into place and attach it to the posts. And now we attach our lattice panels to the frame. These are the tools that I need to paint the lattice. I am using Wagner's Flexio Paint Sprayer, which is amazing. I'm using some outdoor paint and primer, some gloves, an extension cord, some plastic, and some tape. It is incredibly important to tape off any areas that you do not want paint on. Wagner's Flexio Paint Sprayer is so easy to use. I simply take off the canister and fill it with paint. If you have ever had to paint lattice with a paintbrush, you will know how amazing this paint sprayer is for this job. I can't wait to use it. This Wagner Flexio Paint Sprayer is making a very difficult job enjoyable and it's so quick and easy. And look at the results. Doesn't it look amazing? And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I always enjoy our time together. Please follow me on facebook.com slash Peacock Ridge Farm, on Instagram at Peacock Ridge, on Pinterest and YouTube. Blessings to you.